theater. They are thinking about themselves. If you were thinking about the coming kingdom, what would you be afraid of? We all want to be first. We want to be the best. We want to be the most beautiful, the greatest, the most powerful, the most influential. Jesus turned their power thinking into an imagination of abundant life through service. such as service for the children, or to the children, helping the children, right? Now, that's kind of upside, upside down thinking, right? A little bit confused, maybe you think, at least according to this world. Well, how could the first be at the end of the line? The first be last, and the last be first? That's a little upside down too, right? Well. If we strip pleasure and joy from our life just to be different and serve others, how will we feel? Jesus tells us to set aside our self-importance in favor of service to others. He shows us that by serving a child, this is how we can serve Jesus. And by serving Jesus, we serve the one who sent him to us, God. We serve a child, and I, at the same time, we serve God. That's what Jesus says. Wow. Okay, everybody, if you have kept your candy that was handed out, Great, you can hold on to it. Please don't need it yet. <laughs> if you gave it away, please stand up. <laughs> One person. Okay, please stand up. Tony, you get another candy. <laughs> okay. Did you get a candy, Father? Yes, sir. Did you yes, give it away? <laughs> okay. This may not work. <laughs> Okay, and Tony gets two candies. All right. In the kingdom of God, the children are just as important as everyone else. In our world, the children are property. They have no rights. Well, sometimes they do, right? We make sure that they're protected, but those rights. But they become totally dependent when they're born. Totally helpless. A baby has to learn how to eat, when to sleep. They need help to be changed, to be bathed, to stay warm. They need to be rocked. They need to learn how to talk and how to walk. And as babies grow older, they need more help, right? Perhaps you heard of the book Chicken Soup for the Soul. Anybody heard about that book? There's a story in there about a four-year-old little girl whose parents brought home a newborn baby boy and she wanted to be in private to talk to that baby boy. And the parents said, well, I don't know, you're, you know, you're four years old. You know, they were afraid that she might drop the baby. Finally, it was arranged. She was in private with the baby boy. And so she whispered, the parents were listening, of course, at the door, she whispered, baby, can you tell me what God feels like? I'm starting to forget at four years of age. Well, Anybody else give their candy away? Stand up if you did. Okay. 
So in the world, we remember that loving and forgiveness comes from Christ. Let us remember to show God's love, to be kind and helpful, not just to children, but to the elderly, the sick, those who are in great need of help physically, even to pets or people who are sad. Let us show God's love that way. Remember, when we give, we honor God. And it feels good. Right, Tony? <laughs> he gave his candy away, but he got more. If you give away, God continues to give and give and give to you. So, we honor God when we give to others when we become servants to others. The gospel of today is about giving, serving others. May it be so in your life.